HT Floyd. Look at that exhaust. Look at that exhaust flex. Hey everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net, and I'm just going to show you a little quick sneak peek on a car that I just got in here. I'm going to call it the Dirty D Elegance for now, but it's actually a really, really clean car. I'm also going to give you a quick walk around of what I got going on because I've had a lot of questions lately of cars that have shown in the past in videos that have never resurfaced and everybody wonders what happened to that car. Believe me, they're still here. All right, come off the truck. It just got delivered. Uh, this car is a one owner car. And as you can see, when I say Dirty D Elegance, you can see why I mean it. It's a one owner car, 39,000 original miles, and a really a gorgeous, gorgeous color combination. Uh, 1985. So, for all you Cadillac people who know, that would be the last year that GM put the 4100 in the big rear wheel drives before they switched over to the 307s. Uh, so, this car. <laughs> This car is 4,100 powered, and yeah, I bought it basically sight unseen. I uh, came out of Florida, um, Fort Pierce area. I believe the car was owned by a company that owned, or maybe a, you know, a family that owned uh, Orange Groves, like a, I don't know, Orange Farm. Or I don't know what they call it down there. But you can see it's a very beautiful blue. I'm not overly familiar what color this is called. I don't know if this is Hatteras blue. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Obviously, being a Florida car, it needs fillers. The filler panels are all dry rotted. Even these ones are just starting to crack here. It's got really, really old Michelin tires on it with like super chunky tread, but I know those are older than dirt. This car has basically been off the road since 2005, um, but it's in really nice shape, really clean. Oddly enough, this filler panel has been replaced, but all the other ones are completely garbage. I mean, literally just turning into a pile of dust. Came out of Ken Pawtucket uh, in Vero Beach, Florida. Now, this is kind of cool. I looked this guy up. He ran from 92 uh, to 2000. So, I mean, just kind of dates the car even more, but definitely needs fillers. You know, these things are just roached, but the top is in beautiful shape and, and just the combination of this car. It's a DL against beautiful white top, factory Astro roof, which I am so in love with. But take a look at this interior of this car. I mean, she's dusty, very dusty, but definitely not rusty. Beautiful white leather interior that's like dirty. But I know how nice this interior is going to look when I go over it and clean it. Um, and I clean these disgusting seat belts. A lot of this stuff, you know, people ask, like, how, why does the seats kind of turn brownish like that? A lot of that's from, like, you know, your body oils. And I've seen Florida cars with white interiors that, that happens with, like, sunscreen and shit. So it's kind of gross. But absolutely pristine. Like this is gonna clean up so nicely. I mean, look at—it's got the power uh, passenger seat with recline. We'll get these seat belts cleaned up. Maybe I'll do a how-to video on how I clean those seat belts up. Those things will look absolutely brand new. Got the litter bin, the elegance. This car was definitely in garage. You can tell. Uh, you know, the old lacquer paint looks really nice on it. Um, it's just, you know, calm to start going crazy down there. The emblems are nice and deep. Oh, oh, Jesus. Looks like one of the headlights had a crack in it, and I just accelerated that. Monte Carlo Country Club. Uh, the truck driver just dropped it off. It came out of uh, Florida. Uh, it's got 39,924 miles, so I don't have very many miles to put on it as a demo car. And the battery is stone cold. We needed two packs to get it off the truck. So I'm going to put my pack on it and I'm gonna fire this 4100 up. Obviously I had it running coming off the truck, uh, but basically backed it over here, shut it off and it's dead again. 
Uh, so in the excitement of getting the car, I really didn't hear how well it ran. So let me go get my jump pack. We'll see if we can get this thing started. Now this thing is at 100%, so I'm gonna put it on. We got lights. I needed two packs to get it off. The side posts are kind of hard to get on these cars. We'll see what we got. Uh, yeah. Take number two. Come on. Wow. That's a... Come on. No. Wow. You know what? I have brand new Delco batteries here. I'm just going to pop a battery in it real quick. We'll get this thing started because I want you to hear either how nice this 4100 runs or not. But uh, so far, it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty excited about this one. All right, got a brand new Delco battery installed. I just checked the oil. It's got good, clean oil in it. Probably old, but clean. What the hell is this? This isn't even like mouse stuff from like the hood insulation. This is like moss. <laughs> kind of weird. Let's see if she's going to start. That's kind of cool. See these little plastic things here? I remember Cadillac put those on. I don't know for how long. This one's missing. Most of the time they're missing. That's cool to still see that there. Let's see if she starts. Oh yeah, Ooh, hello. That digital fuel inject and fire right up. Do I dare take this thing for a drive? Maybe right down the street, we'll shut this off. She got leather wrapped steering wheel. Uh, oh, that's cool. It's got the Sentinel with auto dimming feature. No memory seats, but power seat works. Windows seem to work. It does have the big factory. Astro roof. Wow, that's fast. Oh, baby, baby. Oh my God. Oh my God, look how big that roof is. 39,000 miles. Let's see how she drives. Like I said, this car has been off the road since about 05. That would back that up because 39,000 be due at 42. That was 10 of 04. So. Maybe even slightly before that. Oh, baby. Oh, wow, those tires. <laughs> those tires are so flat spotted. But it actually runs pretty good. So I know everybody's gonna bark about the 4100, 4100. But really, at 80, after 85, 82, 83, a little scary. You know, but GM put so many replacement 4100s and I think after, you know, 84 and then into 85, they got uh, better. I'm not saying they're the best, but you know what? It is what it is. If you wanted an 85 Fleetwood Brome, what else are you going to choose? I, I really, 4100s don't scam me. I have a good friend in the area that's got tons of them in his collection, swears by them. It's all on maintenance. And I know they had weak cams and this and that, but 85, we're cruising, baby. We are cruising. This car really actually runs very, very well. I love this sunroof. Let's see if this symphony sound works. Power antenna works. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. She's making a funny noise. Eh, might have to get that radio fixed. Take it back to the shop. I'm gonna take you guys for a little walk around tour when I get back there. Show you what I got going on. Oh yeah. I don't wanna really romp on it because she's fragile. The exhaust is kinda of hanging off this one. I think this car, this car must have sat in a garage somewhere or in a warehouse. You know, it was bought new as a company vehicle for maybe the CEO or owner or something. Uh, then just the car just sat and sat and sat. Uh, since 2005 that was wow that was like 15 years ago oh my god where does time go by right i don't know hey, let's take a, another look it really looks clean nice headliner 
Looks like I might be able to recover those rear headliner boards. But, I mean, the body is in really nice shape. Like I said, you're going to have to do fillers all the way around, even though it's obviously got one new one. These are wiped out. Let's take a look at the glove box. See if I can find maybe a window sticker. Oh, it does have a couple nice cassettes. Nothing going on in there. Another set of keys. Got an owner's manual. Let's take a look. Original registration. Indianola, Indianola Groves, Inc. No, I don't see any other paperwork in here. Uh, let's see what's in the trunk. This guy's ready to fall off. Absolutely nothing. Well, I guess that's not a bad thing. No water or mold either. I'll have to look up that paint color. WA8541. And see what this color is called. I just looked up the paint code on it. That's medium blue fire mist, which is really gorgeous and kind of unique. I haven't seen very many in that color combination. Uh, so do I need another project car? When I say project fillers, tires, exhaust, shit like that, no. But these cars are getting hard to find. And as they get harder to find, I kind of have to stockpile inventory for the future. So you're probably saying, Anthony, you got so much inventory, you talk about cars and then they disappear. Uh, and that's one thing I should reference to you folks or, or straighten out so everybody understands what's going on. It's just me here. Papa Bear helps me part time, which is fantastic, but it's really just me. I need to find shops that I could sublet work out to and try to, uh, you know get my stuff done quicker because essentially i am only as fast as i can be uh, i have plenty of cars here but at any given time i only have a few for sale um, but let me show you what i got going on you're gonna say well geez what happened to that car what happened to that car chances are all those cars that you heard about like the mark 5 the yellow one that my dad and i picked up still got it it's in here um, that white brome that i drove back from tennessee i got it it's still here I actually have six, and I didn't realize until I counted, I have six 90 to 92 Cadillac Brome sitting around that need to be sold. So let's go for a quick walk. New car didn't need to buy, but had to buy. 1985 Fleetwood Brome. This is a 1997 Lincoln Town car. Uh, this really just needs to be cleaned. It's a signature series town car, gray leather interior, came out of Florida. 55-ish thousand miles on it. Just put new rubber on it. Uh, I've been driving it for the last couple days. The limo is still here. This thing should have been in a junkyard a long time ago, and it's going to go. Um, I have one quick trip I'm going to make, and when I come back in a week, it's going to be gangbusters here because these cars have got to go. This has got to go. That car I took in on trade, that's a 2003 DeVille. Um, I'll walk around and show you that. My limo, unfortunately, has been sitting outside for the past two days, which breaks my heart. Um, but I got cars up the wazoo. This is a 78 Brome that I have here. This is going to be going up for sale for short money. Uh, it's got 150,000 miles on it. Unfortunately, circumstances have changed. Uh, this car is going to be for sale. I'll tell you all about it when I put it up for sale. This is an 03 DeVille that I took in on trade. It's got 68,000 miles. Another project car of mine. And I got cars down yonder. I got an 88 Brome. Uh, the white Brome de Elegance. I don't know if you can see all the way down there, but it's right there. I got a Buick Electra wagon. Stuff to work on for days and days. 78 Fleetwood Brome de Elegance. Now let's walk inside and show you what I got jammed up in here. And in my shop, if anybody's been here, they know I got 10 pounds of cars in a five pound shop. Right behind me here, this is a customer's car. As it came off the truck, this is a 2006 Lincoln Town Car 25th Anniversary Edition. A couple days, the video will be out just to show you this car isn't for sale though. This car is going up for sale next. 
You're gonna see this. This is a black over black Executive L town car, 2003 model year, 47,000 miles. This one here sold, been sold for a little bit of time. She's waiting for a trip to go down to Florida for my customer. Papa Bear's DTS just put new white walls on it. Sorry about the poor uh, camera angle, but you can see I got a load of cars just sitting in the bay here. Now behind me, this is the honey hole. This is where all the brome stuff happens. This is where all the magic happens. When cars make their way into the middle of the floor here, that's when they're getting, getting ready to get gone. And right behind me, I have three. One, two, and then third one's over there. Sorry, I'm not good with selfie mode on the camera. I have three 90 to 92 bromes that are all gonna get sold. So I said I have six. I have the three, three behind me, blue, blue, red. I have the white one outside that you already saw. I got a burgundy one over in the corner there. And then I have a white one off-site at another storage location because I'm just out of space. Here, just picked this up a couple weeks ago in Virginia. D Elegance. This is a 1990... One D Elegance Brome. Uh, it's got 65,000 miles. Uh, blue, blue sapphire. Dirty. I've been driving around for the last couple weeks. Uh, she really needs a good cleaning, good polishing. But she's going to be coming up for sale. Uh, I'm not going to show you too much about this one, but this is an upcoming video. Uh, haven't had one of these in a minute. Uh, this 1990. <laughs> People have asked about this car. This is a 1991, 92 Brome. Uh, this is the one that came up out of... That came up out of uh, Long Island. That car's got 10,000 miles. I forget about the cars that I have. I have so many cars. Right behind me here, this is that red Brome that I picked up in Ohio when I bought that town car like three months ago. I'm finally just finishing the car up now. We're just putting rear fillers on it. See here, got the fillers fitted. We're going to put the bumper back on it. And this car, I'm going to be doing a how-to video on how to rebuild power antennas on these. I have still hanging around. That Camaro is sold. The reason why I'm not going to be around for the next week, and it's going to fuck up. Oh, I don't even think I can say that. It's going to mess up my work schedule, is I'm driving this car all the way to Kansas City, Missouri which is gonna be super exciting. I wish it was in a Lincoln Town Car or a Cadillac Brome, but there'll be a video on why I'm driving this out to Kansas City. I'm meeting a friend slash customer slash YouTube idol with this car. So we'll leave it at that. Behind me, Lincoln Mark 8. And the price on it. So go on my website, check it out, take a look. I originally put this thing up for best offer but apparently that confused the hell out of everybody. And everybody still thought I wanted like 10, 12 grand for this thing. That's not the case. So go on the website if you're interested. That car is available. On the lift, uh, we won't even talk about that thing. There's the Mark V, sitting all prim and proper up on the pedestal here. Haven't touched it, just haven't had time. Below it, everybody asks about this car. This car still exists. This is the Fire Mist. It's like a, I forget what color they call this. Gee whiz. Brown, bronze, Fire Mist. Uh, 78 Brome. I got up there, my 83 Coupe de Ville. This car's gonna be for sale someday soon. I don't know. It's got 4,000 miles on it. I haven't touched this car since I bought it. When they're up on the rafters here or under, they get put on the back burner. I got a 91 Brome sitting in here collecting dust. I put a brand new vinyl top on that car probably four years ago, three years ago. Haven't touched it. My car is piled up in the corner. I have cars off site. I got a 92 Mercedes S Class with 60,000 miles, one owner California car. Uh, that's off site. I have a, a 90s Brome, 91 Brome, white car with a blue top and two tone interior. You guys saw a video of that probably nine months ago that car is just finally starting to get its wheels in motion to get prepped for sale i got a bmw 5 series i got my two gmt 800s uh, a white 2006 escalade up the street at a mechanic shop that i did sublet out i got my diesel 2003 one owner diesel uh, duramax chevy silverado one owner truck with 80,000 miles don't know what i'm gonna do with that i got stuff 
everywhere. So obviously, I have car buying problems. I have no problem finding inventory. I have no problems buying cars, loading myself up with cars. But I do have a problem when it comes to the time it takes me to get cars ready. I got to get quicker, more efficient, kind of focus in on one and just get it done and get it done. My problem is I get a car done, I post it for sale, and it's sold before I get the next car done. So at any given time, I usually only have one or two cars for sale. I want to get better at that. So when I come back from my trip, I'm going to be gone for just under a week. Uh, it's going to be like gangbusters here, and I'm going to be cranking cars out of here and no more buying, I promise. This 85 <laughs> Fleetwood Brougham D Elegance is going to be the last car that I'm going to buy for a month. I'm going to try to stick with that, try to stick to my goal, try to get some cars turned out of here. Uh, and, and clear up my shop, get some space. Winter's coming sooner than later. Cars got to get out of here. But going on a little bit of trip, classified information, can't tell you where, when, how, who, but you'll see it when I see it. Might be my next move into YouTube stardom. We'll see. I don't know really what to expect from it, but I appreciate everybody for tuning in all the time on all my videos. Uh, keep an eye out. That Lincoln Town Car video is getting edited right now. It's going to be for sale in the next day or so. Black 2003, long wheelbase, 47,000 miles. Until we talk next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll talk to you soon.